Hi, this is Mike with Calculator Genius, and I'm here to give you an overview of, of our middle school GPA calculator. So let's scroll down and take a look. Okay, step number one is to select the grade scale that your school is using. Uh, the, the default grade scale is the four-point grade scale, and basically what that says is if you receive an A in the class, that is worth four points, a B is worth three points, a C is worth two points, and so on. That's a very common grade scale used by many schools. Uh, we also have uh, other grade scales. If your school is using a different one, you'd want to select the appropriate one. So let's take a look at just one more. Uh, this is the four-point grade scale with plus or minus grading. And uh, as you can see, there is uh, A pluses, A minuses, B pluses, B minuses, and so on. And uh, if this is the grade scale that your school is using, be sure and select that one. There are several other ones. Uh, if you don't see uh, the grade scale that your school is using, please send us an email and we'll get that added. Uh, but for now, we'll go back to the four-point grade scale. Um, Step number two, this is um, if, if you've completed previous uh, previous years of school, basically, uh, you'll enter this in if you want to calculate your new cumulative GPA. So let's say you have a 3.5 and you've completed um, 12 classes so far. Uh, and note that uh, this says credits um, if if all of your classes are worth uh, the same weight, so your science class is the same weight, is worth the same value as your as your math class, then uh, one credit is equal to one class. So uh, that's what I've assumed here. I've assumed that uh, we've completed 12 classes and that they all have the same weight. So we'll scroll on down and go ahead and enter uh, this year's results. So let's uh, let's assume that you've uh, completed five classes this year, and uh, we'll just go ahead and start entering in some data. So we received an A in your first class, an A in your second class, you received a C in your third class, uh, you received a B in your fourth, and um, we'll say an A in your fifth class. And you can come in here and um, enter in the class name if you'd like. So science, let's go down here. Let's say this one was actually math. Um, this is optional. You don't have to enter that, but it's maybe handy so you don't uh, so you know which class that you're entering in. And once you've entered in that data, um, you can hit calculate. And actually, before that, we do that again. The credits here. If all of your classes are worth the the same weight, you'll just want to select um, one for the credits. And so let's go ahead and hit calculate and see what we get. We'll see that your current GPA is a 3.4, and, and that is based on uh, this information that you've entered in here. Your cumulative GPA is a 3.47, and what that does is that factors in um, your previous classes along with uh, the ones that you've um, done, uh, completed most recently, and, uh, and that gives you a cumulative GPA here. Um, also note that if you have more than five classes, you simply can add classes, and it allows you to enter in uh, additional data. You can do that uh, as for as many classes as, as you have. Uh, also, you can come back in and you can delete if, if you're um, interested in removing those. And um, once you're done, uh, you can just hit clear to clear out all the data and you're ready to do it again. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for checking out this middle school GPA calculator and uh, look forward to catching you soon.